rub it down here is at 36 meters so it needs one mil dot i've got to get the wind right and there's also a wire in front of his head so it's got to be a perfect shot Just give that half a mil dot of right hand side and compile and knocked him straight over. Well, this is on the Sony Handycam. Just uh, trying to find that. There we go. There's the rabbit. What was it 36 meters? Take him with the compile. So, let's come up to that rabbit. It should be a nice headshot. Yep, nice and clean. Like I say, only 36 metres, so pretty easy shot, really. Apart from the wind. Uh, just gauging the wind correctly. That's 57 metres. Oh, did you see that drop? <laughs> like a stone. Beautiful. So where's the compato? Here's the fence post I was resting on. And this is obviously on Sony Handycam. There's the pylon. And that bird fell down there somewhere. Nice long shot, I'd say 57 meters. Got the chicken sheds in the background. Uh, and the horse fields, it's all private farm. I knew that there was no horses in the trajectory and I know that there's no one on the farm. It's all locked up at this time of night. So yeah, well pleased. So, it's me walking over now to pick up that Corvid. Either a crow or a jackdaw. A nice headshot it was as well. I'll just spin the camera. So, here's the uh, pylon it was on. And there it is. You see it fell straight off the line. Dead as a dodo. It got hit. And shot from down on one of them fence posts. You can see the compato was just waiting there near the rabbit. I shot early. See blood coming out of the nose. Always a good sign that. And a good head shot. Right, I've just had a right bonus. Yesterday when I was up here shooting for the uh, pig farmer, uh, he asked me if I wanted to uh, go and speak to some guys who run the allotments. They've got a problem with rats and rabbits and the allotments next to the pig farm. Uh, so I've just been and uh, I've got full permission. Apparently they had a committee meeting a couple of weeks ago and got mentioned there are far too many rats and rabbits on there. It's causing a problem and they wanted rid of them. So I've just said I'd do it for free. Uh, they were that good, they've obviously offered me a key, I've got to pick up a key tomorrow for the allotment, it's quite a big one as well. Uh, I'll just try and show you, it's behind this, behind this fence here. I know the sun's probably in the camera now, but it's, it's a big old allotment, and it's like a, I think it's a triangle shape. But a lot of the rabbits are coming through this edge here, from the allotment. Uh, just spoken to one of the guys and he says that it's a... Uh, full of rabbits and quite a lot of rats as well so see how we get on there later on I didn't have time to lay that one but it's probably just over zero so I give it a quarter of a mil dot knocked it over cleanly <laughs> So where's where I shot it from, like I say. Hopefully the sun's not affecting the camera. There it is. Just over zero. So it's pretty good. Another one for the compato. Absolutely nailing them tonight. As I've said on quite a lot of posts, this is probably a, for a hunting rifle, probably my favourite one I've got. Uh, it's accurate and it takes a knock. Uh, I've been lucky, I've got a really good one. And Bisley Maglums, as you've seen today, and if you've watched other posts, 
you know it can put shots under a 5p at silly ranges 60 yards 66 yards 55 yards you know 5p it'll put five shots under uh, a 5p uh, at them distances uh, so what more do you really want from a rifle Nice clean head shot. You can see, just from the corner there, just over zero. Nice. He's right in the edge. Just see top of his head and two ears. So we can get him. He's gone. Oh, got him. Three mil dots of old over. Compact. I think the camera is picking up. It's just bouncing around now. We know. So where's the compact on its bipod? Same place as I shot that rabbit at 48 yesterday. Uh, this one was just in the edge, it's just bounced out with nerves. There it is. It's at 53, it was in there, in that edge. Hopefully, the little shot tracks picked it up because it's starting to get dark now. And uh, it's only got a small lens on it. There's that rabbit at 53. That's not bad shot placement, so I could only see the top of its head and its ears. Happy with that? Yeah, pleased. So I've got the Compato set up now with the Night Sight Wolf Artec. I've got an IR laser uh, and you saw that was taken, taken at uh, 32 meters uh, and the rat, I didn't laser it but it probably been barn zero which is about 28, well it is 28 meters. So yeah, Night Sight doing its job. Now it's come to this part of the episode why uh, I've actually called the episode Fate Brought Us Together uh, and as I said earlier in the episode I was asked to come and speak to some of the allotment owners uh, on this permission and find out if they wanted me to come and shoot and now when I actually got on here and started speaking to uh, Martin here Martin informed me that it was part of Brews and Wets Gloucestershire uh, and Blues and, Blues and Wets Gloucestershire is a group of 23 military veterans suffering with PTSD who have got together and they've uh, got an allotment on this permission uh, and they use it for a therapy. Now I'm going to let Martin speak a little bit about it in a, in a little while because he knows more than me but I'd like to introduce you first to Martin. Uh, Hi all. So can you tell us how this all come about please? Uh, two years ago I was diagnosed with PTSD and it's been recognised that gardening um, is a good therapy for PTSD and the therapist uh, recommended that I, um, along with another medic, set up an allotment. So we got this and we haven't looked back since. And over time more people you know have joined the group 
uh, and you've got, is it three people you've got disabled in wheelchairs? Yeah, we've got three in wheelchairs. Um, we've got, uh, we've actually got 22 members. Our 23rd member is our president, who is Terry Walton, the Radio 2 garden allotment uh, presenter on a Friday afternoon with Jeremy Vine. All right, brilliant. And the aim of the allotment, other than to obviously give you some sort of uh, therapy, uh, you've you're producing a, like a, a garden of sort of like remembrance, aren't you? What, what did you call it? Sorry. Yeah, we're setting up a, mem a memorial um, little corner or a remembrance garden. Uh, we've got our own flagpole. Um, I've just seeded the area, and in the and I'm just in the middle of um, making the uh, remembrance board. Um, yeah. yeah, and we'll show you that in a little while. But uh, some of the things what I find really nice about this is uh, Martin's got plans, or he'd like to broaden this. So with it as the years go on, that every sort of like county has their own allotment area where veterans can come and get the same therapy, uh, and what they do is they get together at various times through the through the year and they have events here uh, and what is really good is the the vegetables what they grow in this allotment they don't just grow them for themselves they grow them and they donate them to homeless military veterans in Gloucestershire and that's done through an organization and who did you say it was? Yeah there's a, there's a, uh, a Christian group called Alabre they've got two houses in Gloucester uh, where they get soldiers who are homeless or servicemen, ex-servicemen who are homeless. They bring them in for six months. Um, they get all their benefits sorted out. They get them job interviews and basically they get them back on their feet. And to help them out, we give them when the vegetables have grown, uh, we will we will give them um, a percentage of our uh, vegetables and fruit. So not only are they, the veterans helping the south, they're actually giving back to the community which I find really admirable that somebody who's suffering the self has still got the the peace of mind to know or I should say the, the the mindset that they will give to other people as well other veterans and me being a veteran myself it's something what's really close to my heart and me and Davey was only talking probably a week and a half ago about we normally uh, do a lot for the Royal British Legion and we will still carry on doing stuff for the Royal British Legion but we wanted to now broaden uh, and find another charity uh, where we could also assist that and it just happens that fate has brought me here uh, two days ago to meet Martin uh, when I came to uh, get permission to shoot on this allotment and uh, shoot the rabbits and the rats as I've already said so I just think it's really good and I, what I have done I've set up a, like a just given account uh, under the Gloucestershire uh, Bruise and Wet's name uh, and, and of myself uh, and I'm asking people to uh, donate. I mean if every one of our subscribers, and I think we've got over 29,000 on top of my head, was to just give 50 pence, you can imagine what difference we'd make, not only uh, for the 23 veterans here, but also other people, what Martin want to bring on. And they have got other things like, we'll show you in a little while, but some of the uh, infrastructure needs uh, renewing, like the shed roofs are leaking. Uh, so because these are not a registered charity, it's a group, and it started obviously by, by veterans, uh, it's not as easy to, to get the funding to do this sort of thing. So that's why I'm getting on board, and Davey, with Vermin Hunters TV, and we'd really like your help and support so we can give something back to the veterans who give us so much in our time. So we'll call it a quit for that in a minute. Uh, we'll call it quits for that, sorry, and then we'll walk down, uh, and Martin will be able to show us some of the things, what they've got. So we've just come into the actual allotment now and you can see we've got, these are run, obviously runner beans. Yep, we've got uh, runner beans on the left, dwarf yep. beans on the right. Okay. Um, they've just been planted last week so they should be up in about three or four weeks time start to grow. What else Sticks. have you got growing in the allotment at the moment or are you planning to grow? Along here we have hopefully got peas. Okay. We have a, a problem with mice. Right. Mice love the, the pea. Okay. And you plant it and they tend to pinch them. Right. So we've, put, um, we've just planted our third row, third lot, yeah. and hopefully they will grow. Okay. Looks coming, like potatoes. Coming down here, we've got uh, two rows of first early potatoes. Yeah. And two rows of second early. Is there what you get with your salads? Okay. And this time of the year. Yeah. 
and then we've got three rows here of main crop. Okay. And there your roasters, your mash, um, and everything else, your jacket potatoes. Yeah, and, and for people who've got nothing and living on the street, having, you know, this veg vegetables and food, for a lot of people it's like, you know, nothing, we take it for granted, but for these people, it changes their life, doesn't it? Yeah. Definitely, and that's how important it is. So just before we get to the infrastructure, we've got, is this kale? Yeah, we've got kale. Yeah. It's coming on now. Uh, we've got pear tree. Yeah. We've got raspberries, gooseberries, blackberries, and rhubarb. Okay. Growing in the fruit area. Yeah. We've got uh, lettuce. Lettuce, they look nice, they um, do. That when they're grown, you just pick them. Yeah. Pick the leaves off. Okay. And they regenerate. So oh, all summer, yeah. You've got continu continuity That's a good of, idea. of lettuce. Uh, six rows of broad beans yep. that I hate, thanks to the Ar Army Catering Corps. <laughs> and then coming down here, we've got three rows of radish, yep. uh, two rows of beetroot, yep. two, three rows of spring onions, three rows of carrots, and three rows of um, onions. But one of the rows is um, a little boy who is our mascot. Yeah. He's three, he's got cerebral palsy, and he absolutely loves it up here. Yeah. And he planted those and also the strawberries. Oh, and they're in these uh, yeah, tubs here. They're in the tubs. So now we're down towards uh, the, the, the uh, bottom end of the allotment. So can you tell us a little bit about this then? Right, this is going to be our remembrance um, area. area. Yeah. yeah. What I've done, up the side here is going to be a flower bed along the back. We've already got two uh, rose bushes in. Yeah, I can see, and yeah. And over along the other side, uh, we've got a row of begonias to grow. Yeah. This is going to be um, seeded with grass. Yeah. And then in front of the flagpole will be the board, um, the Ode of Remembrance board that you'll see yeah. in the workshop in a minute. Uh, see, you've got your own flag. Yep, you've got your own flag. You've got your own flag there, and at the front you've uh, got a fence that I see you've got. Lest we forget on, and I think you've got some plan to have some other stuff put on the uh, the other pallets, haven't you? Yep, on these, these are all made out of at, at the top there. You can see a stack of pallets. Yeah, seen. Um, I got very bored during the winter, um, so I come up with the idea of making miniature picket fencing. And as you can see, it's come out like this, but on each one now, yep. what I'm going to do, starting off from 1914, yep. I'm working right the way around every military conflict that we've been in since 1914 will have its own um, fence slap. Oh, that's brilliant. That's um, a really good it'll idea. Go right the way and then if anybody's, you know, like Afghanistan, Iraq, Northern Ireland, you know, come Remembrance Sunday or any time of the year they want to come up, on the anniversary of their death, you know, um, then come and put, you know, a and, and that would be ideal for me as a veteran myself. I mean, I haven't mentioned it to you, but when when I was in, uh, I spent quite a lot of time uh, abroad on operations, and I've done Northern Ireland, and I've done Iraq, uh, and I've actually lost friends and uh, some of my colleagues. Uh, in Afghanistan, in fact, I buried one a few years ago, didn't I? I helped bury him, I did the uh, firing party. So, it, to me, it's it really close to my heart and I do get quite emotional about it. So, that is a, I think that's a, personally a really lovely gesture, what you're planning to do. Well, it's very close to me. I um, I lost my best mate in Northern Ireland in the shot and I also lost two very close friends in the Falklands. They went down with Sir Galahad. Yeah. Um, so, it is... Yeah, I think it's a brilliant cause and you know it's it's really nice to see that flag flying as well and then so at the back here as i said before uh, you can see the roof's bowing we uh, we need to try and get this roof fixed uh, it's leaking water so this is a, a workshop isn't it and a kitchen area is it yep yeah, we've got um our tool store at the end yeah uh, i'll show you inside in a minute and then we've got the workshop area with a sink in and that we have to have that put in for and um, that's stipulated by occupational therapists yeah. because we've got disabled coming up they've got to have somewhere to wash their hands yeah it doesn't matter you know everybody else can go off and wash theirs yeah. they can't so yeah. the ones in wheelchairs have got to have somewhere to wash their hands so we put cold water feed in 
That's they brilliant. Their hands. And what impressed me is the toilet. Can we uh, show the toilet? Now, this was created by another medic, veteran, wasn't it? Yep. And it's made out of a shed. Yep. This is the shed, and this is the dun, uh, dun, the, th the Thunderbox Kazi. But just look at this. So it's got solar-powered lighting and all the shelves with all the cleaning materials and pictures. Uh, and then it's got a, it looks like a chemical toilet. It is. Uh, been fitted in and car, you know, someone's done some carpentry and fitted it in and it's got the non -slip toilet roller. Non-slip floor. Non-slip floor. You know, there's a lot of thought gone into this and it's just made out of shed. And this will make all the difference for people, you know, especially uh, if they want to come and spend quite a bit of time here, like a day where they might want to go to the toilet for a few times, eh? Yeah, yeah that's brilliant. Well, the slabs here, one stipulation was that they had they, they couldn't be stepped. Yeah. So when I laid these, I had like to put the ramp in. I've never laid slabs before in my life. Yeah. Um, and I came up with that idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> Trial so, and error. So you've also got a, a summer house, and this, I think the summer house was donated, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, this was, um, Barmer Trust gave us £996 for, uh, to purchase this, the summer house. Yeah. Um, it's lovely. The furniture, this was £350. Yeah. The furniture was found by one of our veterans on Google. Right. On Google. Go group, go whatever it is. Okay. Gumtree. Pardon? Gumtree. Gumtree. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Um, it was up for £100. Oh, right. But the people who had it, as soon as they found out it was for us, they let us have it for £40. Yeah. yeah. I think you'll find there's a lot of people do support these sort of groups and people you know and there's a lot of people in the UK who do have a lot of respect for veterans so yeah. hopefully this gets out and you know and it touches a few people and we get some good response yeah. to um, the right as you can see we've got this is going to be our quiet area yeah um, at the moment we've got this rubber matting down yeah on here this has got to go down there we've had a problem with the ground yeah um, but this is the wheelchair matting yeah it'll go down there it's all the way down the path okay and on there um, and that'll be the quiet area oh that's brilliant so, so they so veterans can come and basically sit there and just ponder and yeah. think yeah. about stuff yeah. yeah they don't have the thing about an allotment is everybody thinks it's gardening yeah, yeah. with this if people if veterans just want to come up with their wives and just sit yeah. and have some quiet time yeah they can come up they can sit in the summer house they can go in the quiet area just sit and chill yeah? yeah we don't they don't have to come and and you know weed and dig and and plant stuff you know it's an area where they can come chill out yeah forget what's going on you know back out, in their lives outside, over there. yeah yeah and just come and chill you know That's and a if they want to talk there's other veterans around you know, that will talk to and I suppose there's no, no one better than someone who's suffering with the same illness uh, to speak to and you know talk about the uh, the problems you're having. I've always said um, since I was diagnosed my best therapy is with veterans. Yeah. Um, we've been there we all understand each other all right we all take the mick yeah, yeah? that's the banter that's what we are mm -hmm. yeah? we're, we're unique civvies don't understand our our sense of our warped sense of humor yeah and that's what being a veteran is. Yeah. You know, we support each other. We help each other. That's you good. So, so lastly, then we'll just have a look at the uh, at the kitchen area. We've got a generator here, what I think was also donated. No, this one's mine. Oh, that's yours, is it? Yeah. That's Martin's own. Get that going. And then in this little area, you see you've got. The, uh, the kitchen area with the cooker uh, drawers and then here this is the board I was telling you about this is what uh, Martin was working on when me and Laura turned up uh, and he's obviously he's only just started it but it says they shall grow not old as we that and then he's working on it and just, I don't know if you can see this you should be able to he's got an old area where he needs to um, what, what's it called? It's etch. like etch out, and he's using a Dremel, so doing all yeah. this, and then it's going to be painted and stained, which will make all the writing stand out. So I think that's another really nice thing that people will do and read. Yeah. And, then, and then, then on the right, we've got when you go home, tell them as you say for your tomorrow, we gave our today. And then that's exactly what veterans did, yeah, yeah. exactly. And then behind is that where you keep your. Yeah, this is the. Um... Excuse the mess. In here 
is uh, oh yeah, just put that in there. This is the tool shed. Yep, this is the this is the tool store, as you can yeah. see. Bit of a mess at the moment, but all the tools there, that's what's donated by Bulldog. Yeah, that's um, really good of them. There's some good tools there, and I suppose yeah. that makes it easy when you're doing the uh, planting. Yep. Yeah, so that's, uh, I mean, that's really good. And it, I really appreciate you taking the time, Martin, to spend and uh, basically show us around the allotment and let people know uh, about about the group and it, it helps me and Davey with our channel to uh, so people can see if they do no, donate and where their money's going to so thank you for that That's really right. appreciate it